So the first part of our stall cleaning and disinfecting process is to make sure you have an adequate cleaner. The cleaner we use is BioCentury Universal Barn Cleaner with Neogen is the supplier. And what this cleaner does is a detergent that we use at, two, at a two ounce to one gallon ratio. And it's very important that you know the type of concentration you're using and how to properly dilute it. Again, two ounces to one gallon. When we have one of these universal foam guns that we're using here, you want to make sure you have a proper tip. It comes with a variety of different tips to make sure you get the proper concentration. There's, then once you got the proper tip in there, you don't have to think about measuring it and making sure you get the proper concentration. What you end up doing, like our compliance coordinator Chris is doing back here, he fills up his one gallon jug full of the cleaner. And then once it's full of the cleaner, he attaches it to the hose and then starts the cleaning process. Now this cleaner is okay in cold water. In an ideal world, it works much better in warm to hot water. Now this, this takes elbow grease. Once you have the cleaner on the stall, you want to give it about 10 minutes to start really working. Again, it's a surfactant, breaks down the organic debris so you can easily rinse it on off. So you see Chris back here, he's cleaning that stall with a, with a brush. Now when you start cleaning the brush, there could be some splatter. So you can see him with his protective eye gear as well as a protective mask, just in case you inhale it or get into your mouth. And so once he ends up cleaning the stall, he'll, he'll make sure it's been on there for at least 10 minutes, then he rinses it off. The reason we rinse it on off is that it can create a film, a sticky film. At the same time, this cleaner is really alkaline. So alkaline cleaners can be corrosive to your stall or to your metal. So you wanna make sure once it's on, rinse it off. And most importantly, you want to rinse it off is because sometimes your cleaner may not be compatible with your disinfectant. And whatever residual film that you have your cleaner on the wall, once you put your disinfectant on, it may react with your disinfectant, so it won't allow it to work properly. So again, elbow grease, make sure you have the concentration correctly, and rinse off. Now we've waited 10 minutes. The stall has been cleaned of all organic debris. That's feces on the side of the wall, urine that may be on the floor or on the wall, blood, it has been cleaned. Now after you waited 10 minutes, the next step is gonna be disinfectant. The disinfectant we use that we obtained from Neogen is a BioCentury Biofeen. It's a phenolic disinfectant that is excellent in the presence of organic matter. That is, if for some reason you were not able to clean that stall 100% with the cleaner because you may have some caked on manure that is embedded into the wall, this may be okay for that uh, because it, has, it can work in the presence of some organic material. So it's a phenolic disinfectant. It's excellent for salmonella, excellent for strangles, excellent for rotavirus. And that's why we like it, because you can use it in the presence of organic material. If for some reason somebody does not clean out the stall properly, it may still have some residual activity in the presence of some, uh, of some manure or blood. So what we do here for this disinfectant, we use it at a half an ounce per gallon. So the important thing is, if you have one, one foam gun that you use for your cleaner, don't use that same foam gun for your disinfectant. Buy a separate foam gun label it as disinfectant so you don't have to play around with the nozzles. Once that pre-measured nozzle, remember we talked about the little tips, is set into that nozzle for a half an ounce per gallon of water, then you'll be ready to go. With this disinfectant, we do the feed buckets as well as the water buckets. Now those buckets, once it sits for 10 minutes, you do want to rinse those on out. But in regard to the stall, you don't need to rinse on out. With water and feed troughs do rinse it on out after 10 minutes of contact time. At least at our house, what we do next is environmental culture at your barn, if you want. You can just leave it on and move the next patient on in or the next horse on in once that stall is dried. 
And the last part of the biosecurity program when it comes to stall cleaning and disinfecting is the use of a descaler. Now what is a descaler? Well a descaler, what that does is gets off the biofilm that can be produced after you've prolonged use of a certain disinfectant. For instance, our phenol, the biofilm. Use it over time, it can create a film. And after you've used it many, many times on over, that film can become thicker and can actually trap in certain bacteria and the bacteria can actually live in the film. I know it sounds counterintuitive, but what that really can happen when you get this film on there, it's called a biofilm. It can happen on our stall walls, just as easy it can happen on your wounds, a, a human wound. You can create biofilm where bacteria can live. And no matter what disinfectant you put on your wound, it can still live. And that's why you gotta remove that biofilm. And that can happen on our stalls. So what we use is an acid of foam Descaler. Again, BioCentury, Neogen carries it. We'll do this two to three times a year. And what we'll do, this is, can be highly corrosive if you don't rinse it off, because it is acidic. So what we do, we put it on the stall, let it sit for 10 minutes, it'll break down that biofilm. You rinse it off after 10 minutes. You don't have to use any sort of elbow grease with this product. You let it sit on the stall, 10 minutes later, rinse it on off and now you can get along and start carrying on with your disinfectant processes. But again, you don't need to have to use it every day. It can be corrosive, so you tend to use this two or three times a year just to decrease the biofilm.